Hi, I'm Marco Lea, State Senator from the 21st District, and this is our first Washington Whiteboard of 2015. Two years ago, I did a whiteboard talking about the importance of investing in class size reduction for our kids. And this fall, Initiative 1351 passed and the voters agree that we need to cut class sizes for our kids. Here's some of the basic statistics on class size. First of all, Washington State today is 47th worst in class size across the country and we're 43rd in the amount we spend per student in our classrooms. This is not a great situation, which is why voters justifiably took action to make sure we're reducing class size. So this is what will happen when Initiative 1351, which was just passed last fall, is fully implemented. In our K-3 classrooms, we're going to go from class sizes of 25 kids today to 17 once the initiative is fully implemented in four years, according to the initiative itself. At the higher levels, higher grades, we'll go from 29 students per class down to 25. Now a lot of people are saying, why, why should we do this? It costs a lot of money. So I wanted to spend some time today talking about the real dollar value benefits of investing in class size reduction. The Washington State Institute for Public Policy did a comprehensive study of the cost and benefits of class size reduction. Here's what they found. In kindergarten classrooms, reducing our class sizes from 25 to 17 will generate a net benefit of $16,800 per classroom uh, of benefit for taxpayers and for the students in those classrooms. At the higher levels, we've heard there's no impact, there's no benefit. Well, that's not true. The same study found that in a 12th grade classroom, this four student reduction will lead to $800 worth of benefit for students and for taxpayers. So across the board, uh, there's a benefit. Obviously, at the earliest levels, the benefit is more valuable. Beyond those benefits of class size reduction, we also know that students are going to perform better. And when students perform better, our on-time graduation rates go up and we get more kids to college. So I want to talk a little bit about those benefits too. We know that there's a couple of benefits from finishing high school on time. One is a high school graduate's earnings go up 75%. So just getting that high school diploma means a kid's going to get a raise and more opportunities for good jobs out there. And that college degree that they, they can then go on to earn leads to an average of $1 million in additional lifetime earning potentials. So we're saving money at the classroom level, we're getting kids to graduation, and we're getting into college, delivering better value for our communities, and delivering a better education for our kids. This is today's Washington Whiteboard.